Can you guys hear me? Hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's begin today's session. So back next to it. Close the eyes. And start observing your breath. Just watch the natural flow of the breath as you inhale and as you exhale. And keep the body both stable and comfortable while you do so. And when you feel ready, go for a slow, long and deep breath. Mind is relaxed and body is relaxed. We will chant Om three times, followed by three Shanti. Exhale completely and inhale for Om. the vibration join both the palms together in front of the chest and up with the palms together keep them on the eyes very slowly we are blinking and looking at the palms open up your eyes Come back to the smile and namaste to everyone. Let us begin today's class, right? So we are going to learn a new pranayam practice today. And like we did Surya Bhedan yesterday, today we are going to do Chandra Bhedan pranayam, right? Completely opposite practice. Left nostril breathing. Chandra Bhedan Pranayam. C H A N D R A. Chandra Bhedan. B E D A N A. Right. Chandra Bhedan Pranayam. So the term Chandra means the moon right 
and Vedan also we discussed yesterday to purify, to awaken, right? So Chandra Vedan is to awaken or the purification of the Ida Nadi, I-D-A, Ida. Ida Nadi, yeah which is actually the energy channel that is collect, uh, connected to the left side of the nostril, right? So when you work on this pranayam, you are doing the opposite. Yesterday we worked on the pranic energy and you know, uh, uh, activeness in the body was, uh, you know, uh, triggered when you to the practice of Surya Bhedan. And now we are working towards the relaxation part, you know, uh, where when we do Chandra Bhedan, we are working on the relaxation of the body, the mind. When we do Chandra Bhedan Pranayam, moving more towards that aspect, the other aspect, right? And we also work on activating this. So, at a, you know, um, when we stimulate the left uh, side of the body, we are directly working on the right hemisphere of the brain, right? So, now all the activities that are connected to the right hemisphere of the brain, they are going to be triggered, right? Uh, and hence, it can be used for this purpose as well, you know. Both the hemispheres of the brain, uh, you know, uh, have their own function, right? Uh, and you can actually work on uh, these both aspects through these two pranayams, right? All right. So, um, Sorry, can't hear. Am I audible? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Imbalance. Right. So prolonged practice should be avoided. All right. So posture, a sitting posture, when we begin the practice, we always have to be in a sitting posture. Very important point when it comes to Chandra Bhedan Pranayam, it is not out of one of the eight pranayams that has been discussed in the Hatyogu text. All right. So if you go to the major Hatyogu text, which is, you know, Hatyo Pradipikanti class as well. I just touched upon both these texts. These are the two major texts. And when you read them, you will not find the mention of this pranayam, right? So this was, men this has been mentioned in uh, a few Upanishads and mostly in a book called Light on Pranayam, right? Uh, and uh, like, this book was written, uh, is written by BKS and 
people will find two books. One is light on yoga, and another one is light on pranayam. Right. So when he talks of different pranayam practice of chandra bhedan pranayam, it is not one of the eight major pranayams that is you know discussed. It is separate from that. Right. So this should be very clear to you. Right. So uh, I. I think the sound is breaking. Other point that we discuss for the next thing. Oh, okay. We can't hear. I audible. Yes. Right. All right. So yeah. So Chandra Bhedan Pranayam. I was telling you, it is not one of the eight major pranayams that has been discussed in the two main uh, main Hatha Yoga texts. Right. Hatha Yoga with Deepika and Gharan said that this practice. Is not mentioned in the main Hatha Yoga text, so it is not one of the eight pranayams that has been mentioned. Um, it has been mentioned in uh, a few Upanishads, and one major place where you will find the mention of this pranayam. Which Upanishad? Sorry. Which, Which Upanishad? Uh, see, there are a few Upanishads where you will find the mention. Right, so okay. that is where it got its background from. But uh, main book I'm telling you, where you will find the proper technique also, like uh, how it is to be done. So light on pranayam, that is main. That is the main thing you need to know. Light on pranayam is a book that is written by B K S Iyengar, right? Like there is a book called Light on Yoga, that is very famous. Again by B K S Iyengar. So there is another book by him called Light on Pranayam, where you will find the proper technique, benefits, everything that is related to this Pranayam. So there it has been uh, clearly mentioned, right? All right. So um, it's a mention Mahaparpaaya Jata hai, right? Uh, 
and uh, it the, the contraindications who should not do this uh, pranayam so this is a cooling pranayam so first it should be winter if you are cold in the body right so if you do it during winter pranayam uh, 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 there to be cold right and then also you will turn the temperature of the body cool right so be very careful like are in and environment where it is cool uh, do not practice or go for few rounds right in summers again it is very beneficial because so can't hear now should. they should not go for this practice because again cooling of the body will take sorry i only heard up to in the summer have some breathing issues then it's only going to you know increase um it's going to make it difficult right because you are again working on the cooling aspect of the body and um, um it this is going to trigger more of that so in those cases go for uh, surya bhajan that is much better in comparison to Uh, and you know um uh, you know as the uh, phase of the moon changes our you know bodies our uh, mood everything changes with the moon you know a lot of emotions everything is connected to the moon so first thing is that on an emotional level you will feel very you know um, if you practice this pranayam continuously you will feel little bit stable right so that emotional side if you're not able to understand how to navigate through it or balance it out then chandra bhajan is definitely going to come and help you right again if you have any heat related issues right pit related issues so this is going to cool the body and the system down so all the diseases connected to pit dosh or you know which generate heat in the body and cause Uh, problem those are going to uh, go down so it reduces the body heat right so uh, like for uh, you know um, um even high blood pressure it is a very good practice for them as well right because it is going to calm the system right it is a very refreshing practice so after we practice also you will see that your mind feels pretty stable and refreshed at the same time right because you go into the relaxation when you do this yeah so when you go into like left nostril is con- uh, connected with the relaxation aspect of us so when you practice this you will feel much more uh, relaxed and refreshed hence refreshed so people who feel very lazy once again it is a good practice right to bring that out into balance right um this is also uh, a great pranayam for people who Uh, face a lot of anxiety right because mind has a tendency to wander a lot and uh, multiple thoughts are going on so because it induces the uh, calmness the coolness both on a physical level and emotional level on the mental level also it induces that same thing so calmness peace clarity hence you move towards clarity so practicing this pranayam if you need some sort of clarity you need the mind to be you know still then you can go ahead and do this uh, practice it is going to make the mind steady right uh, it hence works on 
you know all mental issues and um, reducing stress and tension from life it's an, a, a very effective uh, practice for all of these things right so um, let's get into the practice directly so let me right wait how about now can you hear me yes clear okay someone wrote in the chat box that you cannot hear me at all i just saw that uh all right yeah so once again on a spiritual level this is one more benefit on a spiritual level your ida nadi is getting cleansed right and hence activated and at the same time when you exhale from the right nostril you exhale the air out so any impurity in the uh pingla nadi your right nostril is also indirectly worked upon right so now when you exhale through the right nostril you will be able to feel the air like the coolness of the air right so let me just demonstrate the practice once once to you then we are going to go directly for a practical session right right all right so like before we are going to form the pranav mudra right holding the first two fingers and making this position so the hands or placing the first two fingers on the forehead right and again you know you are going to close the left nostril sorry close the um, right nostril this time right one is going to be closed so that inhalation can take place to the through the left like we do during anulom vilam so inhale through the left close the left nostril exhale through the right once again inhale through the left exhale right inhale left exhale right i just demonstrated three rounds right so one round is one inhalation and exhalation inhale through the uh, left and exhale through the right right so this is going to be the overall technique so once again like yesterday we are going to go in the same format first we are going to practice abdominal breathing then we are going to do anulom vilom right and then we are going to go into the practice of chandra bhedan chandra bhedan and surya bhedan are not practiced on the same day because they induce two very opposite um, you know effects on the body hence it is not advisable to practice them during the same day right so if you are practicing one in the morning do not go for the practice of the other in the evening your body will take time to adjust right so because it is going to take time to adjust just separate these practices some pranayams are better to practice in the summer some during winter right so you can prepare your protocol in such a way and same goes for the people you are dealing with it is better to prepare the protocol according to the season as well right depending on what they require plus you can also take the weather into account and make sure that the practice is in total harmony when you are introducing it right so sometimes people struggle right so in order to avoid that struggle you can make sure that when ever you are introducing a particular practice it is in alignment with the weather that is over there and you can add and subtract according to the weather as well right any doubts in any of this uh, did you say when we do chandra uh, chandra vedan pranayam uh, the air which comes out will be cool or do we feel cool yeah see so when you exhale it is going to be a little bit, bit cool you are going to feel that temperature difference like if normally you exhale there is a different temperature and slightly cooler than that when you go deep into the practice you will experience that thing where when you are exhaling you feel that cool uh, like 
that coolness even in the breath okay so this one is more for uh, the people uh, with depression this is also good for them yeah this is also good for them because this you know induces uh, you know calmness overall so it is good for them it is good for any mental uh, issues if somebody has any mental disorder this is only going to help them yeah okay thank so, you yeah okay okay i thought um, maybe my voice went away in this all right okay great so let's directly step into the practice if there are no doubts are there any doubts any other doubt okay so let's step into the practice first we will do few minutes of abdominal breathing then uh, anulom vilom and then we are going to do chandra bhajan pranayam right so sit up on your mat back neck straight and gently close the eyes start observing your breath and stay connected with the way in which your breath is going in and coming out at this moment When you feel ready, begin to deepen your breath. Going for slow, long, and deep inhalations. Slow, long, and deep exhalation. Just observe the state of your mind right now, and we are going to check in once after the practice. Slowly lift your right hand and place it on the abdomen. Exhale completely, and then begin to inhale. And as you do so, expand the abdomen. And when you exhale, contract the abdomen completely. Exhale out all the breath from the body. And then again, begin to inhale. Expand the abdomen. Continue with this breath pattern. Inhale, abdomen out. Exhale, abdomen in.
go for a few more breaths deepening your breath with each consecutive cycle And take three more breaths, and then you can suspend the practice and observe the natural breath. Keep the back straight and observe the natural breath after you complete the three rounds. Prepare yourselves for the practice of Anulom Vilom. Form the Prana Vishnu Mudra. Keep the back straight and then exhale completely. And close the left, no sorry, right nostril. Begin to inhale through the left nostril. After you have inhaled completely, close the left nostril and begin to inhale through the right. Sorry, exhale through the right. Very sorry. And once you have exhaled completely, again begin to inhale through the right. Gently close the right nostril after inhalation and exhale through the left. This is one round. And go ahead and continue the practice. Going for deeper breath. With each round. Try to deepen your breath. And feel the impact of the alternate nostril breathing as you go deeper. Keep continuing your practice.
go for three more rounds and then you can suspend the practice. After you finish the practice, bring your hand down, keep the back straight. Just observe how you feel. Keep the back and neck straight. We're going to start with the practice of Chandra Bhedan. Again, form the Pranav or Vishnu Mudra with your hands. Exhale completely and then close the right nostril. We're going to inhale through the left nostril. Once you inhale completely, close the left nostril and exhale through the right nostril. Again, close the right nostril, inhale through the left nostril. And then close the left nostril, exhale through the right nostril. Continue the practice and complete 10 rounds. Once you complete your 10 rounds, bring your hand down and relax. Just see how you feel. Thank you. 
and if you did not feel that coolness go for five mudra so again from the pranav mudra or vish mudra and go for five more rounds if you felt the coldness but still can go for more rounds you are comfortable go for five more rounds and when you complete the practice bring the hand down just observe the breath join both the palms together and rub both the palms keep them on the eyes allow your eyes to absorb the heat that was generated in the palm we're going to do this two more times so rub both the palms together again keep them on the eyes Last time, we have both the palms together. Keep them on the eyes. Whenever you feel ready, begin to open up your eyes. Start coming back. Yeah. So anybody has any doubt how did you feel were you able to feel the cold like uh, the cool, calmness and how is your body temperature yeah felt uh, cool and calm yeah okay great good how about the others are there any doubts were you able to connect with the practice Any Ooh, doubts feel from any? No doubts. I feel a bit fresher. Sorry. I said no doubts, but I feel a bit fresher, a bit more alive. <laughs> okay. No worries. No worries. With time, just continue the practice and then see how that goes. Uh, you know, uh, before we do this Chandra Vedan um, Pranayam, we will do. um uh like deep breath we'll take deep breath then we'll do anlom vilom is it so how many deep breath or around how many deep breath we need to do and how many anlom vilom we need to do see there is no fixed number as such right why because we just we just make sure that we are directly not going for pranayam practice first there is some relaxation and control we, we have attained over the breath and the mind right so there is no fixed number 
that is why like uh, i also don't give you mostly a fixed number for those just a few minutes of practice is enough to calm the breath and the mind down and you will be able to gain control so you know as many breaths as you require right okay. there is no fixed number yeah both uh, um, and also you know we have done like anlom vilom as a pre practice so do we need to always do anlom vilom before this or can we do other pre practices before this you can go for other pre practices that's also all right okay yeah it totally depends on you how you want to prepare your protocol right but do not directly go into any pranayam practice just make sure that you are like again working a little bit on the mind and the breath before you go into the main practice okay thank you all right so if there are any other doubts please ask okay so that means that i can end the session right so everybody uh, has understood the technique properly so let's end the session with one om and shri shanti right back next straight close the eyes and inhale for om shanti 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 hi join both the palms together and of the palm and this come over the eyes Very slowly, one thinking, one looking at the palms. Open up the eyes. Come back with a smile. Namaste to everyone. I will see you all tomorrow for your philosophy class. So bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.